All right, you guys having fun? Yeah. Put your hands around our last contestant. Give him a big hand, Ryan Heiner. Doing good. Okay, don't answer that question. My name is Ryan Heineck. Guy tried to get cute with my name recently. He's like, oh, your, your name is Ryan Heineck? <laughs> you must love Heineken beer. Because <laughs> your name's Heineck. And I'm like, what's your name? He's like, Dick. <laughs> so I guess we know what you like. So, let me get this out there right away. I'm an American. I'm sorry about that. Whatever your opinions are, keep them to yourselves. But you know, I once asked somebody like, why do you, why, why do you think Americans aren't all that popular? And, and he said to me, he goes, well, you know, Americans don't respect people from other countries. I said, well, that's bullcrap. We respect them. We just have no idea where they are. <laughs> Until we invade you, and CNN shows us on a map. <laughs> where are you from? You can't never heard of it. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Um, I like to, uh, I like to try. You know, it's actually, you know, America, it's, it's, it's not that I love being American. Is, like, we're not even a popular country to live in anymore. We used to be like the most popular country in the world to live in, and now, according to the UN, we're not. The UN comes out with a list every year of the most livable countries in the world. America used to be number one, the top of that list. We just recently dropped to number 11, just below the Netherlands. <laughs> The Netherlands. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? I mean, sure, they've got hookers and drugs. But we've got hookers who will sell you drugs. <laughs> and guns. It's one stop shopping in America. I, should, I, I sort of take issue with this. Do we have any Dutch people in the audience here tonight? Good, okay. I just want to take issue with this country in the Netherlands. Because you got a country like the size of like a microwave oven that, that, that seems to think it needs two names. Real quick here, Netherlands and Holland. Well done, you passed the I'm not an American test. What did you win? An invasion. Come up with these two names. I've got a theory. You want to hear the theory on how they came up with your names? Yeah. You didn't have a choice. Good answer. I think it went something like this. They're in their house of parliament or chocolate or whatever they do their governing in. And they're like, hmm, let's try to be kind of ourselves. They do that. They touch the nipples when they talk. No one's here. Let's try to be kind of Are we German? Are we French? No. We are Niza. Niza land. The guy stands up like, no, but don't forget about their hookers. Poland. <laughs> True story. True story. <laughs> yeah. I like traveling. I do. I like traveling. Do we have people? Oh, good. Don't raise your hands. Oh, I like traveling. I recently went to Tokyo, Japan. Huh? Wow. <laughs> No one here has been to Tokyo? Hey, come on, who's been to Tokyo? Raise your hands. Good, you've been to Tokyo. Fantastic country. I can't get the metro system there. At all. It, can, it is, it, whoa, it's huge, right? I went on the thing, I got off in Taiwan. I had no idea how that happened. But they, 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 in all seriousness, they have a problem with the metro. And maybe you saw the signs for this. They have a problem in the Japan metro, the Tokyo metro, of, of men grabbing women's asses on the train. Now this problem has become so bad that the police are like, you know what, don't even report it to us anymore. There's nothing we can do. Instead, what you should do is grab the offending hand and hold it high into the air so as to embarrass him. <laughs> I don't know about you, but where I come from, this is called the setup for a high five. <laughs> Honestly, this is not embarrassing for perverts. This is a beacon saying, hey everyone, there's hot ass over here. <laughs> Get on down to this section of the train. <laughs> big fan of language. I'm a big fan of language. I'm an English teacher. We have English teachers here in the audience. Oh, a white guy. Hmm, big surprise there. <laughs> Wouldn't have thought that. The English teacher is great. The, the reason though, I don't, I don't do, I don't teach English because I, I love the job or the kids. I do it because I love the language. I do. I love English. You know, and I especially love what happens to English when you when you cross the border into mainland China. I love what happens to the English there, especially if you grab one of those like you go to a restaurant, you get the English menu, huh? 
You get that, you're like, oh, and uh, how is the chicken ass here? Is that... <laughs> I see it comes with a side of ointments. That's, uh... <laughs> and I suppose sauce would have been, no, no, it's ointment? Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> Appropriate, mildly. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the worst, though, was I went to a restaurant uh, and the manager was, was trying to get all fancy. He's like, oh, in, in, uh, I was going to speak with a French accent for some reason in, in a Chinese restaurant in, in China. <laughs> I'm Chinese. Um, so he's like, he's. <laughs> He goes, um, he's like, he's like, oh, you know, in my restaurant, I want to make it fancier, so I've used uh, very British terms for all the food items. I'm like, well, that's exciting. Uh, so, so I looked at the menu, and, and they were very, very British terms. Um, he, he, he wanted to be fancy, so one of the items on there was, was supposed to have just been like chicken meatballs. But instead, he used this bizarre British term. He called them chicken faggots. <laughs> which I think might draw in the wrong type of crowd, depending on what you're looking for. So I told him, like, you know what, you may want to actually look this up. This is probably not what you think it means. Uh, you may want to look it up and then and change it, and I'll come back and check it for you. So I come back a week later, he's all excited. He's like, oh, I've changed the menu. I've got it, I've got it. I look down at it, it's like, no more chicken faggots. Now it says, scared homosexuals. <laughs> That's all the time I have, guys. Thanks a lot, you've been wonderful. Ryan Heine! Ryan Heine! Please give a round of applause to all...